The Indo-Pacific lionfishes Pteroas volatans and Pteroas milis are the first non-native species of marine fishes to settle permanently in the western North Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. In this footage from National Geographic, lionfish can be seen in the hundreds in the waters off Florida, an occurrence once never witnessed as recently as 30 years ago. Lionfish pose an immediate threat not only to the economies of regions heavily dependent upon fishing, but also to the overall ecology of coral reefs. This footage from the Smithsonian Institution recounts the voracious nature of lionfish on a reef in the Indo-Pacific, their natural habitat. However, when introduced to the waters of the Caribbean, where they have no natural predators, lionfish are able to consume juvenile reef fishes at a rate much faster than the reef fishes can reproduce. They have been witnessed consuming 20 small wrasses within a 30 minute period. Additionally, lionfish are able to spawn every four days in warmer climates releasing between 12,000 and 15,000 eggs at once, which drift at the surface with the aid of currents and winds for up to 25 days. It is only recently that the spread of lionfish throughout the Western Hemisphere has increased in intensity. The first confirmed sighting of a lionfish in the United States was from a lobster fisherman off Dania, Florida in October 1985. The next report of lionfish in the waters off Florida occurred in 1992, when six specimens were released from a seaside aquarium damaged by Hurricane Andrew. Since then, lionfish have spread throughout the warm waters of the western North Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. This dispersion of lionfish has only occurred within the short span of 30 years. In order to combat the spread of lionfish, the members of Venture Crew 210 elected to travel to Roatan, Honduras during the summer of 2015 in order to spear lionfish and to analyze their stomach contents. During the first few days in Roatan, the crew was trained by the Roatan Institute for Marine Sciences how to use Hawaiian slings and how to properly handle lionfish, which have venomous dorsal, pectoral, and pelvic spines on their fins. On each dive, members of the crew would dive in two groups to spear lionfish, each with a dive master capable of carrying the group's lionfish catch in a zookeeper, as shown in the clip in the top right corner, or with a line. Because lionfish can create a negative impact on the sizes of reef fish population, several members of the crew, who are certified by Reef, an organization which monitors the health of reef fish populations, conducted fish identification surveys on several reefs. After each dive, the crew returned to Roatan to perform gut sampling dissections of several lionfish caught each day. Many of the stomachs of the lionfish speared prior to the dissections contain the remains of several small fish and shrimp. Some females also had ovaries containing thousands of eggs which could have been released within several hours had they not been speared. On several occasions, the crew was treated to lionfish empanadas prepared by dive master's wife and fried lionfish prepared by the kitchen staff at the resort where the crew stayed during the week. <laughs> 